Hey guys, this is Mr. Post, and on today's session of extra help, uh, I want to teach you how to measure. All right, so we're going to basically be looking at measuring devices and learning how to measure. That's right, we're going to be measuring today, so let's get into it. Our first example. Okay guys, so here we go. Let's look at the ruler on the very top, okay? So I want you to, if you could, you know, check this out, but press pause, you know, and try to solve this problem by yourself. And anyone on the slide... Uh, presentation today just press pause and look at each problem to see if you can figure it out and then press play and I'll tell you what the answer is okay so let's check this out and the ruler at the very top I definitely know that this measurement is greater than 10 and less than 20 so the one thing I do know is this is definitely gonna have a uh, something in the tens column definitely is greater than 10 is it 20 yet definitely not well if I look at this I kinda say that's halfway so I'm going to estimate this is probably at, oh, 18. And this could be 18 centimeters. And you're going to notice that's pretty much all I can say. I, I pretty much know that it's greater than 10, less than 20. I'm going to say, ah, 18. You know what? You'd be right if you said 17. And I'd actually give you credit if you said 19. Generally, there's going to be like one really good answer. I think the really good answer in this case is 18. But you could also guess one on each side of this, and you'd probably get full credit for that. A number, if you put down a number greater than 20, if you put down 20 for this, I definitely would not accept that. Even if you said 15, I wouldn't accept that either, because it's clearly more than halfway there. And I probably would not even accept 16. 16 is probably somewhere over there. But once again, the measurement I just want you to see involves a understood and known nut value. The one here is known. And then we have a guess. The guess comes in this count, column right here. I'm guessing on the 8, the 7, or the 9. Any one of them is the right answer. Now, using this concept that every measurement involves just one guess, that's it. That's all you're allowed is one guess. What would you estimate the second measurement to be? Any measurement is an estimate. I definitely know that it's definitely greater than 2 and less than 3. Okay. Press pause. See what you get. Well, here is halfway point. That would be 2.5. If 2.5 had a tick mark, but it doesn't. So I'm just putting it there and saying it's definitely not 2.5. So it's something less than uh, 2.5. I'm going to actually call this 2.2. Maybe you did as well. I'd probably give you credit if you said 2.3. And I might even give you credit if you said 2.1. But I think there is a best answer here. And the best answer in this case is 2.2. You'll notice is that is that 2 that I'm talking about right here? Is that real? For real? No, it's an estimate. So any measurement involves calling out what is known, it's definitely greater than 2, and then an estimate. Alright, good job guys. Here we go, let's go to the next slide. Okay, on our protractor, let's read this. Alright, you got a multiple choice one here. A multiple choice one. Take two seconds, press pause, and take a guess. Well, I do know this is definitely greater than 90. Alright, so that's one thing for sure, and it's actually less than 100. The tick mark is on the tens column. Whenever the tick marks on the tens, meaning the nine, the eight, I'm going to guess now. What is that? Where am I going to guess to? I'm going to guess to this place right here. I definitely know it's greater than ninety, less than hundred. I'm going to make a guess, guys. I'm going to say like there's some good answers and bad answers over here. Here's some good answers. Ninety-eight is a solid answer. If you said ninety-eight, you're right. I give you full credit. If you said ninety-seven, guess what? You're also right. If you said 99, I'd probably even give you full credit right here. You'll notice what they all have in common. They're all greater than 90 and less than 100. And they're only guessing to one place. Now, if you say it's 97.5, that is actually not correct. And the only reason why I say that is because the 7 is a guess. The 7 is an estimate. No one knows if it's true or not. So if this is an estimate, how can the 5 actually be real? You can't have two estimates. You're only allowed one estimate. So that is a bad answer. Same with this. The 8 is where you're guessing. You're not even sure if it's 98. If you're not even sure it's 98, you definitely can say it's 98.5. Bad one there. And once again here, we're, we're estimating the 7. We don't even know if 97 is correct. I've already said it could be 97, 98, or 99. So therefore, let's just say we can't have two more guesses beyond that. No way. Let's go to the next slide, guys. Okay, here we go. What's the angle? Now, this protractor is a little more like the one you're probably used to. So let's check this one out here. I got a tick mark over on the 90, and this is 100. But this now actually has 10 more tick marks in between there. This is 91, 92, 93, 94, 
The big guy is 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and there is good old 100. All right. Press pause once again. Take a shot at it. I'm going to give my answer off. Well, you're right if you said this is definitely now greater than 98 and less than 99. So this is that clearly greater than 98, less than 99, and I need to make an estimate in this zone here. This is where I'm going to estimate. I'm only allowed one estimate. So it's definitely going to be 98. Ah, well, it can't be this one. It can't be 99. It can't be 97. It can't be 97.8. can't be 90. Well, actually, I, I take that back, actually. I take that back. Okay, I take that back because 98.4 could be an answer. All right, that could be an answer. And 98.5 could be an answer as well. And am I allowed to say 98.51? And the answer is definitely going to be no. Because right now, the 4, 98.4, is a good estimate. 98.5 is an estimate. I don't even know if the 4 or 5 is correct. It's simply an estimate. So if you're going out to this spot right here, that means you're saying you know for 100% certain that the 5 is right here. This 5 is good. I'm telling you, it isn't. It is only an estimate. You can't have two estimates. You're only allowed one. Therefore, there we go. So there's two correct answers for this one. On this slide, that is. All right. If you hear a telephone in the background, that's right. We got This is live, unedited here. Here we go, checking out this ruler here. Uh, just want to say, this thing right here, this little... This does not exist. All right, this thing does not exist. I don't know what it's doing there. It's just floating around. All right, so let's check this out. Um, I got a little bar here. The bar is extending beyond the five. It's not at six. What are your possible answers? Okay. Now, um, let's say here, I definitely know it's five, and I definitely know it's less than six. The tick marks are on the one's value, meaning four, five, and six. So I definitely know it is going to be five point something. Five point what? And that's the only place you're allowed to guess. So five point something is going to be my answer. Now, I definitely would not accept 5.3, because that is clearly more than halfway to six. That just means we're not reading the ruler too well. I could accept 5.6 and I could accept 5.7. Those are the only answers I'm allowed to accept. This is not a good answer, and neither are these. We're only allowed one estimate. And what you're saying, 5.65 looks like a good answer. And actually, 5.65 has two estimates in it. The six is a guess, and therefore this has to be a guess as well. So you're not allowed to have two estimates, only one estimate. Let's rock on to the next slide, guys. Wow, there's a lot more tick marks now, so the ruler has become a little bit more precise. So the ruler becomes more precise. That means more precise really means more decimal places. The more decimal places I have, the more certain I am of my answer. So check this out. Here we go. Tick marks are the ones. All right. And now there's also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten tick marks here, right? So basically I'm allowed to say now five point, well, it's definitely now five point one. That's 5.1, 5.2, whoa, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5. It's definitely greater than 5.5 and less than 5.6. So I'm going to write down what I know. I know it is definitely greater than 5.5. And now this is 5.5 what? Let's look up here. Is 5.56 a good answer? It definitely is. This is not a good answer because it's definitely not 5.6. It's definitely not that. 5.55, yeah, I'll take that answer too. 5.555, no way, no way. I'm only allowed one guess, and I'm guessing right here, or I'm guessing right here. Both of those are awesome answers. And we're going to end on these right here, okay? So just take two seconds, guys. Um, press the pause button, and write your answer down for these. There is one tricky one here. The hardest one on this whole board is going to be this ruler right here. So... Why don't you look at it and write down your best estimates, and I'm going to come back with the answers. Here's my answers, guys. Check them out. On the first problem, I said it could have been 17, 18, or 19. On the second problem, I said 1.9 or 1.8. And if I was to favor any of these two, actually, I'd be favoring the uh, 1.9. Definitely is the better answer. On um, this one, I think maybe you were tempted to say 2. Um, remember, if there's only one number down, that means the number is only a guess. All right, so you're allowed a guess. The guess is always the last number. If you wrote down two, you mean two is only a guess. You're not even sure if it's two, three, or one. You know for certain that it's two. If you know for certain that it's a two because there's a tick mark on the two, you need to claim 
Over here, I'm calling this 1.89, 1.88, 1.87. You know, any one of those is kind of good. I'd probably say this is the best. All right, and down here, the same way as in the third ruler, if you think it's directly on the tick mark, you got to call it out. You can't say 1.5. You need to say 1.50. And I say that because I know for certain there's a tick mark for the 0.5 right there, 1.5. So 1.50 expresses my guess. I'm guessing now on the zero. If you said 1.5, that means you're guessing on the 5. And I'm just saying there's a tick mark for the 0.5. So you can't be guessing on it. So we're going to cross that off. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at bpost at frhsd.com or stop in for extra help on Tuesdays after school in room C217. Later.